Hi. Hello, you are welcome to Curiosity TV. Today, I will be showing you how to open Gmail account without your phone number. How to open Gmail account without your phone number. How to open Gmail account without your phone number. And I would also be distinguish what differentiate opening your account with a phone number and not opening your account with a phone number. Now go to your Chrome browser and click on the search bar and click on the search bar and type in www.google.account.google.com www. They have left. Yes. Account.google.com So, this is what it's going to look like. Now scroll down to create account. You can either create account to manage your business for your child or for your own self. You can choose any one of the three. If you are planning to open your account for business purpose, you can choose to manage my business you can see the tree now here you will need to input your first name and also your last name the last name here means your son name so you can just type in your first name and last name type in first name and your last name my son name is Hadibayo you can either if you are planning to create gmail account maybe for you to purpose i would employ you to give the gmail account your YouTube channel name, your YouTube channel name, your channel name, because it also helps a lot. It also helps a lot. So then, if not, you can decide to give it any random name you think you can give it. You can give it any random name you think you can give it. Okay, I'll type my name now. As you can see, as I'm typing, Google has already suggested some custom Gmail name for me. Google has already suggested some custom Gmail name, which I can choose. Which I can choose to create my Gmail account. But the name suggested here is not okay with me. I would like to give it a beneficial name, understanding name, which I could easily recall, which would fit my channel and also whatever I'm engaging on. So let me type in my own custom name and see if it's available. 
Let's see, it's available. You can see Google Google says that username is taken. Fine, it means the custom name I typed is not available. So I can't choose that. Someone has already chosen that. So now I will need to you try another one random. Let's give it a device a device start seven at Gmail. Okay. It says you can see it means this custom name is available. So we cannot proceed with our password. We cannot proceed with our password. I sure you input the password. You can easily recall. Hey. where I'm talking about so this is the place it's either you decide to add your number or not so you can see the route option now but I would employ you if you are not if you don't have your number now you can add a recovery mail if you have in an email before or you can even decide to create another email then use the other email as a backup to this so in case you forget one at least you should be able to remember the other one so all this because of security purpose and not for same circumstances because you might forget your password in the near future and once you forget it it's if you don't add either of your recovery email or your phone number it would be it will be very hard for google it will be very hard for google to send you security code which you can use to recover your account i've witnessed it and i've faced such situation before i would employ you to avoid this either you decide to add your phone number or your recovery mail just add any one of the two or you can say to add it too and avoid facing what i face if not that i didn't remember my password at that particular time i might not be able to recover that my gmail i can't i might not i might not so try to try to put any one of the two yeah so now let's proceed then you will need to add the day you are born month and year gender but for the purpose of this story i'm going to abandon both the full number search but and the recovery bar so i'll just proceed purpose of this tutorial now let's input our day amount next this is youtube and um, this is google times of services 
you can read it to understand their terms of services I suppose I click on agree congratulations you have successfully created your gmail account you have successfully created your gmail account successfully created your gmail account you can add your gmail account to a business profile you can use it to create your business profile just now but as for this story let's proceed not now let's keep on not now you can see you can see this icon at the top no it's not there before reason being that there is no gmail account leaking to this my chrome browser now that i've created the gmail account for my chrome browser that is why it's happening now you can see the security let's click on security code you can see what they also say they say this can be used to make sure that it's really you signing in or if there is suspicious activity in your account if there is suspicious activity in your account okay. Google is even employing us to add any one of the two they are giving us warning they are giving us warning so you can see that I'm not lying this is what I'm talking about regarding the phone number and the recovery email so if you don't add any one of these two I'm very sorry to say if you mistakenly forgot your password it would be very hard for you to recover it I've witnessed it you can see what Google also say they say this can be used to make sure You can see what Google says. Say this can be used to make sure that it's really you signing in, or if there is suspicious activity in your account. You can see. Now let's go back to our account. You can see, and this is all your privacy and personalization that's about your information. This your password. You can add your passport. And that's what we appear on your activity whenever you use your Gmail. Whether on YouTube or whether you are signing it, that symbol would appear. So what's going to be appear? It's very I'm supposed to add it now, but in order to hasten this story, in order to make this story alpha, so I will need to just keep it for now. It's very easy, you can just click and then upload any pics. So it's going to work. So now let's check our Gmail account. Let's see it work live. Let's check our Gmail account. Can now just go back and type in okay from that you can just search and type in gmail.com gmail.com is going to automatically sign you in if you have never linked any gmail account to your chrome browser before it's going to automatically sign you in. But if you have linked it before, if you have a Gmail account on that specific Chrome browser, it will be very hard. It won't link you automatically. So you will need to click on manage account under your logo symbol at the top right side. Then you can now switch to the new account you just created. Or you can go to your Gmail account direct. Your app your gmail app you can switch to the account for me but your account is now live 
or you can say to just go to gmail.com account to gmail.com then log out from that existing account then type in your new gmail account information so this is our dashboard you can see google community say your account your google account is now live your google account is now live your google account is now live thanks for watching thanks for watching today's video kindly like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorial like this for more amazing tutorials and if you think there is anything i need to rectify on this video kindly comment it under the comment section in the video i'm going to reply maybe if you have any suggestion on what types of video i should make can comment it under the comment section in the video then subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i drop such amazing videos like this you can watch out for my next video on how to set up your youtube channel adding banners your passport then working on a video i see you and many more there but in order to before i can drop that video in order to watch that video and understand more about youtube first of all you are going to see a link i can go to my youtube account direct and check on how to create youtube channel you can watch it to the end then after they can proceed to checking the new video thanks for watching today's video